Uh, good start for our team. You know, really happy for our players. I think you could see the excitement that we had really uh, all the way through the roster. And, and it's really kind of the way you want an opening game to go. We had to work a little bit in the first 10 minutes and, and uh, make a few plays. But I thought in the, the mid part of the uh, first half, we did some good things of defending the three, attack the basket, uh, got to the free throw line. Thought Eli really helped us plant coming off the bench. I thought he played well, was active, not just his baskets, but I thought he got his hands on a few balls and knocked some things loose, which was good. And, uh, you know, it's always really good when you get to play a lot of kids and, and uh, they play well and make a basket or two. It kind of settles the freshman in, you hope, and now we can move on and, and start to, to get a little bit better, kind of improve our turnovers. But uh, beyond that, I thought our defense was pretty good and just a good start. A little different tonight than it did last season, just from a, an energy standpoint. Those, those guys seem to really yeah, I, I just you know we're not as we're not as talented with when we were bringing Marquise and some of those guys, Eli. Sometimes off the bench, those guys were certainly more experienced, talented players. But I do think our young young guys do play with energy. Amir rebounded well in the, in the first half. AJ is a high energy guy that runs around and. Um, you know, has the ability to, to get a shot off and, and create some things. I thought he did well. And um, so that was really good to see. Scott came in the second half, made a couple nice plays. And, uh, you know, our, our older guys did fine. It was good to see Dante. I thought he was, you know, his rebounding had five defensive rebounds at halftime. Uh, you know, had a would have had a chance for a double double if we would have left him out there. Um, that was really good. He took it to the basket, and had a nice mix. And, uh, you know, we just we just were a little careless with some turnovers, but beyond that, a very solid performance. Coach, um, Eli didn't start tonight. I'm guessing that was an attempt to avoid some cheap early fouls. Yeah, he also missed a, he had a he missed a practice. We had something that was was happening, and he missed a practice, so he he no big deal. But he just came off the bench and played well. With, with losing David, um, how, how much does that hurt? you? obviously didn't miss him tonight, but defensively, it does. It, it just an older, bigger body um, that's experienced. And, and kind of doesn't isn't going to make some mistakes that a lot of people aren't going to notice. He's always, you know, nine times out of ten he's going to be in the right position. Nine times out of ten he's going to make the right play. He just – he's one of those guys that will score four points and grab three rebounds and have two assists, but he'll play 16, 18 minutes and he'll have an impact on the game that's beyond the stats because he's he's a – He's just a good player. Like he's just one of those guys that you can play with a lot of different people, and he physically is an ACC level athlete. Like he's, you know, some of our young freshmen aren't quite there yet. They're getting there, but they're not quite there in terms of being able to take it all in. He's he's that kind of guy that can physically handle the the uh, up and down nature. You even saw. I mean, our freshmen were like huffing and puffing because. You know, some of it's just anxiety, and they're so excited to be out there that their heart's beating through their chest, and you know they just want to do so well. And in 90 seconds, running up three down three times, they're exhausted. They just have no, you know, sustainability, and that's that's part of it too. Is being an older player that can sustain really playing as hard as you need to play, and that's that's the biggest difference for young guys is how hard they have to play on every possession, or they're going to get exposed. Right. How, how good was it for you to see in the first game your, your team close out the first half the way they did? It was really good. And, you know, um, when we talked about that and we talked about playing well out of the out of the gate, we did OK. Um, but it was it was it was a nice way to play. I thought we played very well late. You know, one of the big things was we had them in the bonus because our defense, we got stops. We got out in transition. We got a lot of transition attacks where we got fouled. You know, there were a couple of times we had baskets taken away or whatever. We had to take the ball out of bounds, but it got us in the bonus right away. And so we played, you know, bonus free throw basketball for a good part of the end of the half. And we didn't commit our seventh foul until two or three minutes to go in the half. And so we were, you know, those are little things that, you know, we try to really work on and coach. And we usually are a team that plays pretty hard that doesn't foul a lot because we don't want to we don't want to give teams a lot of free throws. And uh, I thought we showed pretty good discipline tonight being disruptive enough defensively without fouling. Dante was three for three from three tonight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously it does a lot of other yep. things as well, but uh, we've seen this from him before, have really good games and yeah. can go up and down. Have you seen more consistency in his shooting at practice? 
Yeah, I think he's shooting the ball well. I think you know he's putting in good good time. He's you know he was the first one we did. We do we do been doing morning shoot around. Uh, so we we're in here at seven fifteen, and Dante was you know I got in here before seven, and Dante was already in here getting shots up, and uh, you know that's. I think you see that from older players that realize it's you know extremely important and their sense of urgency is really high. Gabe's in the gym a lot, getting shots extra on their own. Um, you know you got to put in the time, get the reps, and those guys certainly are doing that. I was. I thought you know there were always some things that you could do better, uh, but we really wanted to limit some threes, and our three-point defense was good. We wanted to get back in transition. I think we had, I know one play in the first half that was poor, but. Beyond that, our transition defense was pretty good, and we were going to let them do some things around the rim and not overhelp. And so they scored some around the rim against us. That has to improve our post defense. But some of that was designed by not doing a lot of helping and just kind of staying with shooters. Have you known about Davis' position for a while? No, I've, it's been ongoing. Uh, just in that they came to me last January, uh, you know, just out of the blue and hit me with it that there was something that happened at Valpo and they're going to have to look into it. And the NCAA was involved and it was really an NCAA thing and they handled it. And um, with with our compliance folks, you know, really just more dealing with David, there really wasn't anything our compliance people could do be, or a lot that we did because we weren't involved in any of what happened. It all happened somewhere else. Um, so, yes, we've known that, you know, there was going to be some sort of penalty and we just had to kind of deal with it and um, you know that's really all there is to say about it. You can't say exactly what it was. No, nah, I'm not going to get into all those things. That's something that happened at another school. Yeah, I mean yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I mean here the first couple of weeks, I mean we still played him in some games and stuff. You know, one of the things is just wanting him to be, I mean the guy hasn't played and he sat out all of last year and I think, you know, that's that's really hard for guys. And so we tried to play him and, you know, played him in our scrimmage, played him in our – we were able to play him in the exhibitions and this, and the, a little bit here in Tennessee we were going to play him some. But then obviously you're kind of – you want to play him because you need him and you want him. He's a better player. But at the same time you want these younger guys to get minutes. So we've been jockeying with it a little bit. Um, you know, we do have several wings right now. So there's guys that can play. Um, but – you know, he's clearly better than the, than the young guys right now. Coach, a uh, quick, quick turnaround. Um, yep. How, how stressful is that on the team to have to go to a problem? Uh, a little bit just because of the nature of the weekend. You know, it seemed like a great idea when we did the schedule, you know, last winter that, like, let's play two games when we got a lot of fans in town and help with the crowd. And then you start thinking about, you know, you won tonight and – now you got to try to get them back and get them focused tomorrow. And then there's a football game against Florida State. And there's going to be about 100,000 people in town having a pretty good time, and you're telling them not to, you know. <laughs> so get used to it. Uh, so hopefully we'll respond like a mature team and, you know, handle our business. We've, we've already done all the preparation in terms of the coaches. And, you know, we're going to meet in the morning and as a team, and we'll get right on it. So we'll, we'll have their – have their focus as best we can. Thank you all.